College game day, one of the largest crowds you, you will ever out. see. Yep. Enjoy the octagon of that doom. Way. We're on ESPN News Sports Center rolls. College game day, driven by State Farm. Purple is pervasive. The Power Cat logos abound in what might be the largest crowd in college game day history. But there is a thorn in Kansas State's side. The despised Jayhawks, who have dominated Bramwich Coliseum. To be honest, they ought to pay property taxes here. They have won 25 of the last 26 trips into Manhattan, but exactly two years was that one Wildcat victory. Welcome to Manhattan College Game Day in a sea of purple. Maybe 8,000 strong or so. Reese Davis, Hubert Davis, Digger Phelps, Jay Billis. Let's try that Wabash Cannonball thing, Digger. We you got your back. You got whoa, 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 down. Yo, we, got, we got some guys here back. with no rhythm. Slow it down. <laughs> I, I know, Slow I know it down. You, you and Digger struggle, but Jay and no, I. No, no, no. I wasn't talking right? about. No, no. I'm talking about these three guys right here. <laughs> the excitement is here because this team, Kansas State, is explosive. They're very good. They're trying to break this little hex that Kansas has had over the last quarter century or so. What's the importance of having a rivalry like this? Well, it, you measure yourself. You know that if you can beat Kansas, especially in this building, you can beat anybody. And Kansas State has proven they can play with the best teams in the country. They get to the free throw line. They play as hard, if not harder, than any team I've seen all year. Rivalry, you just get focused. It's got nothing to do with records. It's got everything what that rivalry may be. I don't care if it's Kansas, Kansas State, or we see Ohio State, Michigan in football. It's the best of all that comes together for both campuses. I'm feeling a little bit old. I look up in the rafters, and I played with two of the guys, Orlando Blackman and Mitch Richmond. So uh, not making me feel very young. <laughs> I, I like to call this the house that Orlando Blackman built. Yes. And yeah. Frank Martin is uh, exercising like an extreme well, home makeover on what's right wrong now. With Bob Boozer? Plenty on Kansas and Bob Kansas Boozer, State coming up. And 59. I know he's going Please. old school. I was with him. Let's go new school with Saturday slate. Some of the other big games around the country, including in the Big East. Well, I've got Louisville at West Virginia. West Virginia has won three games in a row, and a huge reason why is their ability to take care of the basketball, getting solid point guard play. Also, they have one of the best players in the country, in Deshaun Butler. And that's six seven. He can defend, shoot from three, penetrate. Look Look for him to post up Louisville smaller guards and dominate down low on the paint, Coach. Well, we got Duke at Georgetown. ACC versus the Big East. Georgetown on Monday night at Syracuse. Ahead 14-0, got blown out. But it's got to come back to Greg Monroe. He's got to have a big double-double inside and make things happen as far as points in the paint. And, yes, they got out-rebounded by Florida State. Duke did 40-30. to So, boards will be a factor in this game. Baylor taking on Texas. Baylor may be the best running team in the Big 12, but Texas has the three best perimeter defenders in the league. Avery Bradley, who's long, athletic, and versatile, can guard anybody. Don't foul Bay puts great pressure on the ball, and Justin Mason can lock down on the perimeter. They've got to have a great game against Lace Darius Dunn. I've got Northwestern at Michigan State. Northwestern has never been to the NCAA tournament, and all Big Ten performing. Kevin Cobble was lost for the year. The chances of making to the big dance didn't look good, but John Scherner, 6'8", 
played small for power for has really stepped up in Big Ten play scored 29 against the Spartans earlier this year Vandy at Kentucky Kentucky found out the other night that three freshmen on the road when you're number one they're not ready to handle it and when you look at the playback game now yeah they're coming home playing against Vanderbilt it's going to be Patrick Patterson's got to get balanced to those three freshmen Bledsoe walk and do the things on the outside Cousins inside but Patrick Patterson's got to become a factor in this game the temperature is going to be raised in the octagon of doom this game between Kansas and Kansas State is going to be about extra possessions. Kansas State forces close to 18 turnovers a game, but the key could be offensive rebounds. Kansas State has the best offensive rebounding team in the Big 12. They've got to get extra possessions.